Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. Good morning. It's Sunday, June 29th, 2008. I'm in North Conway, New Hampshire at the Eastern Slope Inn. It's a week after Mount Washington. My disaster with hypoglycemia or using up all my sugar and almost like dying before I got to the finish line. So today I'm trying a different fueling strategy because what I've realized is that for over a year now I've been under fueled for my races, not my workouts. My training's been fine, but I've been under fueling myself for my races. So last night, night before the race, I ate a lot of sprouted grains. So got up this morning, 6 a.m., three hours before the start, and had more of the sprouted grains. It's an experiment, I'm not sure how it's gonna work. I ate quite a bit of food last night, pretty late, and quite a bit of food this morning. Much, much more than I would normally eat before a race. But I don't wanna be under fuel, because this race today is the toughest yet. It's the Cranmore Hill Climb. We're climbing Cranmore Mountain twice. We're doing two laps climbing 1,100 feet in a mile and a half. Much of the climb is at a 30% slope or steeper. We're going up a Black Diamond Trail, and then we gotta rock down the other side of the mountain. So if the uphills don't completely destroy your quads, the downhills will, and then you gotta do it all over again. So if I run out of fuel on this baby, I'm toast. All right, so the Cranmore race is about 10 minutes away from starting, and it is pouring outside. Everybody's inside right now. We're all afraid to go out there and get wet. And the course is really dangerous. I previewed it yesterday. It's really steep on the downhills. We're going to be running through some open, exposed mud, rocks, and roots at about a 30% slope. So it's going to be treacherous because we're not going to see what's underneath the water. Now we got thunder and lightning. It's not just raining, but thunder and lightning. And we're going to be running to the top of an exposed mountain, standing on granite with big antennas all around us. Yeah. Once he's over there, he's gonna line us up and we're gonna go. So like two minutes and then we're heading over. He says it's not gonna get any better, so. <laughs> There's no lightning though, right? There's no lightning. Justin Fife uh, from Dummerston, Vermont. I woke up this morning with a bagel and a power gel around 7 and I drank some heat juice. Uh, last night I had veggie burgers and potato chips. <laughs> Are you vegetarian? Or not. Um, no, but I just keep it lean. Race before a couple days before a race, try to watch potato chips. Not so much, but uh, you gotta indulge sometimes, you know. Just what place you get today? Uh, today I got first. Tell me about the course. How was it out there? The first loop was pretty steep. Well, I mean, both loops were steep, but like the very top was just straight up. And then when I saw the gondola and just a straight trail, I was a bit overwhelmed. The black diamond going straight up? Yeah, I was a bit overwhelmed and I, I kind of spun out a little bit on the lichen rocks as it, with all the rain. And, but uh, it was fun, I actually walked a lot of, the, a lot of that part. Of the power hiked of, Yeah, power, power hike. What was your strategy on the steep downhills? The conservative on the first loop and on the, the second loop wasn't much um, strategy other than I was controlling my fall down the hill. So. Awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks a lot. Todd Callahan, I think I came in fourth place from Somerville, Massachusetts. And last night I had a nice big fat piece of organic salmon on the grill. So it was a good piece of protein. Had a fresh garden salad and uh, some mashed potatoes. That's my pre-race meal, every race. And this morning I had a bowl of oatmeal and a bagel. About what time do you eat in the morning? I eat about uh, 5 o'clock. 
So what was tough for the uphills or the downhill? Downhills for me. It just pound, 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 just kept going. I really like the uphills, other than the grassy spots. But yeah, it's just like you just keep moving your feet, just like you're pedaling your bike, one little step after another. So are you able to run the entire uphill? I ran, yeah, a little bit. I think I took two steps that didn't really meet the uh, definition of running, but otherwise, yeah, ran the whole way. Felt good. Awesome. Good job, Todd. Thanks. Tell me about the course that you designed today. What, what was your intention? Well, my goal was last year, we had that brutal downhill, more gradual uphill. And I just think that downhill, it was it was cool in one way, but I just wanted to do something totally different this year. So a little more technical on the downhill, I think, and a lot steeper on the uphill. So it was fun, I thought. The rain just made it even more fun. Uh, what do you think the toughest part was today? I think that last uphill section on Hurricane, the part you came down last year, I just think because you got nothing left there to go up. I was power walking it. Uh, my name's Abby Woods. I mean, I'm from Northampton, now, so. and I was the first woman today. So very awesome. happy about that. I was uh, grateful that it wasn't hot out, wasn't humid, so that's usually when I have a hard time. So the rain felt really good and it was kind of refreshing, and I think that I do better in races when it's a little bit more technical. And, uh, a little bit more technical. <laughs> Jim Johnson, Salem, New Hampshire. I was happy with today, I was third. Uh, my ankle got a little banged up, a pretty good sprain on the outside. I stepped on a rock right at the top. Um, and the last mile and a half down, I just kind of sucked it up and ran into some pain, but hang on to third place, so I was pretty happy. Uh, hardest part was starting the second loop going up. Um, came down. And Kind of recovered on the way down. As soon as I hit the, the incline on the second loop, I was, I was done. So you've been to my website. All the time. And the time. what do you think? Do you think it's crazy? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it makes sense? What are your, what are your thoughts? It, it totally makes sense. Um, it's tough. Uh, I've, I've, I've read all of the um, uh, descriptions of the program and kind of what you went through, what other people go through. Uh, it's definitely tough to get adjusted to that type of diet. For me, I actually tried it a couple days this past week after Washington. No kidding. Um, yeah. And um, I, it, I, I, I just didn't give it uh, the full week. Um, I might go back to it, but I, it totally makes sense. Um, and, uh, you know, it's kind of thinking about what you put in your body as fuel and, and you know, the, the science behind it. And I'm just, you know, basically um, going on the whole raw food kick to me makes total sense. The hardest part is just kind of getting used to doing it. I've done smoothies all week so far. Um, again, as I get kind of inspired after Washington. So um, I've done the smoothie thing multiple times a day, every day since Sunday. And so what do you put in your smoothie? Put in um, bananas, blueberries, the kale. I've been putting in watermelon and cherries too. So. And how do you feel after and during? Like, does it feel like it fuels you? It does. It fills me up. I do that instead of snacking, which I usually have a tendency to do throughout the day. So that's good. Cat Fisk, and um, um, I got first for Master Division, and I got third overall female. And I love green smoothies. I just started doing it um, probably two or three weeks ago now. Okay, and now that you've incorporated green smoothies, do you feel that you recover better? Do you, do you see a difference athletically? Yes. Yep. I ran a 50K and my legs were fine by Wednesday. And how long would it normally take you to recover? Probably a week. A week. So you essentially cut your recovery time in half. Yeah. Well, I redeemed myself from Mount Washington. I got fifth overall, first master, and I'm pretty pumped. There were some really tough guys out here, the best in New England. And this was a tough course. I was a little scared because those uphills are steep. Uh, downhills I'm not so afraid of, but the uphills, I don't like the long, steep stuff, and there was plenty of that here today. In fact, uh, the second loop, I did some power walking. I couldn't run the super steeps. Different fueling strategy really worked. Doing the uh, sprouted grains last night and the sprouted grains this morning, I had energy the whole race. My legs never ran out of gas and never went hypoglycemic. And finally, I felt like I had a really strong performance. I didn't have any digestive problems, no stomach issues in the race. So even though I ate a really big breakfast and ate really late last night, it didn't bother me. So I'm really excited to uh, have performed today up to you know, expectations and not bomb like Mount Washington. So we're back in it. It's on. <laughs>